Guys, I really need to make this video because th this shit is insane. I've never seen anything like this. I don't, I've never been as excited for something as I have for this. So basically this new system can automate literally anything with no code, right? Zero code, not, not even no code, just zero code. All you need to do is download Visual Studio Code. If you can't download Visual Studio Code, I can't help you, unfortunately. This can help you get more leads, get more sales, get more traffic for you, for clients, for basically anyone. There are ways to turn this into something just insane, in my opinion. It's limited only by your imagination. As long as you can prompt it, you can or think about how to use it. And it's not just about prompting anymore. You don't even really need to write prompts for this. You literally just need, like the prompts I've been using have been 50 words of just do this, right? It, this is insane, honestly. And then using sophisticated systems, using Sonnet 3.7, for example, and then I'm gonna show you an insane use case. Let's get into it. So if you don't know by now, Rue code or Rue Klein or whatever the hell it's even called, they basically recently released an update where if you go to settings and just scroll down to enable browser tool, right? And then have a local host running. Watch yesterday's video if you don't know how to do this, by the way. The vi I'll leave a video, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Um, but yeah, just so you know, uh, you might have to watch a video to understand how to do this, but it, it's pretty easy. You just have to run one command in the terminal. And then what this effectively allows you to do is it allows you to run an assistant that basically takes a screenshot and then can click on things, right? Just like other assistants, but it's logged into your profile, right? So it's logged into your Gmail. It's logged into your LinkedIn. It's logged into your Facebook. It's logged into your ads manager. It's logged into whatever the hell you need it to be logged into. And the really cool thing about this is because all it does is take a screenshot and then like it can adapt to what it sees on the page, right? Instead of you giving it like a predetermined understanding of what will be on that page in the prompt, it just knows what's on the page and what it's looking at because it's literally looking at, at it as if it was a human, right? So this new system, this browser use where it can control your browser and browse the web like a human, really has started to change things. And not just that, it's also this idea that it's using sophisticated systems to do so. So Claude Anthropic has a very good understanding of what it can see and how it needs to adapt according to the instruction that you've given it. So why am I so excited about this? Okay, so just imagine this for a second. You go to, or you know, I might create, someone will create, this will be a thing very, very soon, I'm sure. You go to a website. I think I'm gonna create this. I, I need to before someone else does. You create a website, you click on, you know, one of a few options. Let's say, holy crap, those square, that square there is amazing. Look at that, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I lost my nerve. So yeah, you click on one of these boxes. Imagine one is ads, right? One is SEO, one is LinkedIn, and one is, I don't know, Facebook or Instagram, let's say. You click on this, you give it a very, very short, simple instruction, like grow my Instagram. You've already connected all your socials beforehand. It's already been crawled. It's already been understood. It's already been blah, blah, blah. And then you just click it. Yeah, no, I, I don't even know if I should give this away. You just click this and then it just grows these for you automatically, right? So yeah, this is kind of her, the use cases that I'm thinking of. This is, I'm, I'm probably going to work on this at some point because that would just be crazy. But anyway, the entire time I've been talking, this has been running and it's been sending uh, LinkedIn requests to people. So this is what I'm talking about, okay? And if you want to know, oh, okay, so I've actually reached the limit here. That's fine. So now it's just going to connect to people who might potentially be interested. That's fine. One thing I do need to mention here, guys, is definitely cost, right? This is not cost effective. There's a reason that Manus has limits, right? I really don't like working with things with limits, to be honest with you. Um, that's why I don't like Manus. I'm not even bothered about being on the waiting list anymore now that I've discovered this. But I do need to talk about cost because the API for this does cost a lot of money. However, when and if, I, I believe, wait, actually, I just said, wait, 
Is 3.7 high QL? No, right. It's not, right. So you might actually be able to already do this with 3.5 high, uh, high Q, I will mention, right? I haven't tested this, um, so I'm going to put a question mark, but it might be worth testing that out, guys, um, because it's actually quite simple tasks, like just click on someone and just do this, that, and the other, right? It's not too complicated. So I have a feeling that it would be able to do this. So definitely in terms of cost, one of the short-term things we can try is 3.5 high Q. I do actually just want to make sure that if we put it on high Q, it does, oh, it doesn't have computer use. Okay, so never mind, scratch that. Scratch that. So one thing I do want to mention is 3.7 and 3.5 Sonnet are very expensive. They are one of the most expensive uh, models on the market. I believe it's 15. Um, yeah, so it's three and 15, like I said, so three and 15. What that means is, uh, input is $3 for 1 million input tokens. So you can see the cost here. If I go back on repo, the cost so far has been $5.70, right? So that's a mix between input and output. So the API costs are huge on this. So just be wary of that. If you don't have a large budget, then this probably isn't for you. And uh, you might have to wait for the, to be on the Manus waiting list or wait for, you know, 3.7 high Q. My bet or hope anyways, that 3.7 high Q will support um, computer use, right? Which is the most important thing. Computer use, browser use, uh, MCPs, all that good stuff. It needs to be able to do this, right? Now, also what I'm thinking in my head is imagine you could async. If you don't know what async means, async uh, function, define what means. So an async function creates an async function object. Each time it's called, it returns a new promise. Yeah, so I'll just use ChatGPT. It just means asynchronous, which basically means at the same time, right? Um, so it doesn't block the entire application. So imagine you could just have 50 of these running at the same time, just doing this or whatever task you need them to do. I don't want people to just think that I'm obsessed with LinkedIn or anything. LinkedIn is an example of the things that you can do with this, but there are so many more things you could do. I think it could run ads for people. Honestly, I genuinely believe that this could run ads better than the average person. What does that mean? That means that's a fucking SaaS that's worth billions, right? Each one of these things is worth so much money if you can automate them for people. I really want, I, I just want people to understand how exciting this is. And if you can crack it, like if you can make it work where there's just loads of them, just using browser use, just spawn loads and loads and loads of them, each one with a simple task, all of them logged in to the user's local computer and just working away on their business 24 seven, right? The cost will be astronomical, of course, but if it works, the cost doesn't matter because the ROAS is, once something works, the cost no longer matters. What, what matters after that is the ROAS, right? or the, just the return, not the ROAS, whatever it's called, the, the return on investment, ROI. That's what the important thing is. The important thing becomes ROI. Nobody gives a fuck about cost if it's making shit loads of money, right? That's what I'm trying to explain to people. I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I just wanna spend this video because I think this is such an exciting opportunity. I think this is the next big thing. And, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to harness this so i want at least someone watching my channel to benefit from this harness this make a shitload of money yeah thanks for watching guys if you're watching all the way to the end of this video you're an absolute legend i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out